For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. I am writing to you, dear Theophilus, an orderly account of the things that have taken place among us, so that you may know the absolute truth about everything. In the days when Caesar Augustus was emperor of Rome, and when Herod the Great was king of Judea, God sent the angel Gabriel to visit a virgin of the city of Nazareth, and the virgin's name was Mary. Fear not, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will call his name Jesus. How can this be? I am a virgin. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. So Mary traveled to a town in Judea to visit her cousin Elizabeth, who was also miraculously with child. Elizabeth! Mary! Cousin Mary! You're the most blessed of all women, and blessed is the child you will bear. For as soon as I heard your greeting, the baby within me jumped with gladness. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. From now on, all generations will call me blessed. Know all men of Nazareth that by command of Caesar Augustus, there will be conducted a census of the subject territories of Galilee and Judea. All men must register forthwith in the towns and cities of their ancestral birth. And Mary went to Bethlehem in Judea to register with Joseph her betrothed. But there was no room for them in Bethlehem, and the only lodging they could find was a humble stable. Now there were some shepherds in that part of the country who were taking care of their sheep at night, when the angel of God appeared to them, and the glory of God shone about them. This very day in David's town, your Savior was born, Christ the Lord. The shepherds hurried to see the newborn babe in the manger and were the first to spread the good news or gospel of the Virgin Mother and the Savior's birth. A week later, when the time came for the baby to be circumcised, he was given the name Jesus, and Joseph and Mary took the child to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. And when they had completed all their duties according to the law of Moses, they left Jerusalem and returned to Nazareth. When Jesus was 12 years old, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem for the Passover feast. But when they started back home, thinking that the boy was with them, Jesus stayed behind. They returned to the city looking for him, and on the third day found him in the temple, sitting with the rabbis and elders. Whose child is this who asks such questions? He's from Nazareth. We thought he had left with us. Please forgive him his zeal. All who heard him were amazed Son, 
Why have you done this to us? Your father and I have been terribly worried trying to find you. How is it that you looked for me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? And he came with them to Nazareth and increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with man. In the fifteenth year of the rule of the Emperor Tiberius, Pontius Pilate, being governor of Judea, and Herod, the ruler of Galilee, and Annas and Caiaphas, the high priests, the word of God came to John in the desert, and he came into all the country about Jordan, preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. Turn away from your sins and be baptized and God will forgive your sins. As it is written in the book of the prophet Isaiah, someone is shouting in the desert, get the road ready for the Lord. Make a straight path for him to travel. Every valley must be filled up every hill and mountain leveled off. Winding roads must be made straight and the rough paths made smooth and all mankind will see God's salvation. Tell us, are you Christ? Yes, are you Christ? Tell us! I baptize you with water but someone is coming who is much greater than I am. I'm not good enough even to untie his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. He has his winnowing shovel with him to thresh out all the grain and gather the wheat into his barn. And the Holy Spirit came down upon him in bodily form like a dove. And a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son. In you I am well pleased. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. Peace be with you. And you, Master. Will your boat bear me, Simon? Why not? Once there were two men who went up to the temple to pray. One was a Pharisee, the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood apart by himself and prayed, I thank you, God, that I am not greedy or dishonest or an adulterer like everybody else. I thank you that I am not like that 
tax collector over there. I fast twice a week, and I give you one-tenth of all my income. But the tax collector stood at a distance and would not even raise his face to heaven, but beat upon his breast and said, God, have pity on me, a sinner. I tell you, the tax collector, not the Pharisee, was in the right with God when he went home. For the man who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Push the boat out further to the deep water. Then you and your partners let down your nets for a catch. Oh, master, we worked hard all night long and caught nothing. But if you say so, I'll let down the nets. James! John! Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. Don't be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. I beg you to save my only daughter. Sir, have mercy. She's only 12 years old and, and dying. Please, please come with me. Cyrus, I'm sorry. Jesus! Your daughter has died. Don't bother the teacher any longer. Don't be afraid. Only believe and she will be well. something to eat. I charge you, tell no one what has happened here. And Jesus went up a hill to pray and spent the whole night there praying to God. And when day came, he greeted the 12 of them whom he named apostles. Simon, whom he also named Peter, and Andrew, his brother, James, and John,
Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew, and Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, and Simon, called Zelotes, and Judas, the brother of James, and Judas Iscariot, which was the traitor. Blessed are you, poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you shall be filled. Blessed are you who weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you and reject you and insult you and say you are evil, all because of the Son of Man. Be glad when that happens and dance for joy, because a great reward is kept for you in heaven, for their ancestors did the very same things to the prophets. But I tell you who hear me, Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. And pray for those who mistreat you. If anyone strikes you on the one cheek, let him hit the other one also. And if someone takes away your coat, let him have your shirt as well. Give to everyone who begs from you. And if someone takes what is yours, do not ask for it back again. Do for others only what you would have others do for you. If you love only the people who love you, why should you receive a blessing? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, why should you receive a blessing? Even sinners do that. How could he touch her? How could he talk to her? No. Love your enemies and do good to them and lend expecting nothing back. And then you will have a great reward for you will be sons of the Most High God. For he is good to the ungrateful and to the wicked. Be merciful, just as your father is merciful. Save us, Jesus. Judge not, and you will not be judged. Condemn not, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Lead us in thy path, O Lord. I'd like to know this man. Do you think he might be the Messiah? I don't know. Jerusalem, I think. This Pharisee invited Jesus to have dinner with him, and Jesus went to his house and sat down to eat. Come along, children. Off you go. You heard me. Go. Then after all the mischief going with him. Good, son. <laughs> what is she doing here? I don't know.
a sinful life she lives. I know who this woman is, Simon. Let me tell you something. There were two men who owed money to a moneylender. One owed him 500 silver coins, the other 50. Neither of them can pay him back, so he cancelled the debts of both. Which one then will love him more? I suppose that it would be the one who was forgiven more. You are right. You see this woman? I came into your home. You gave me no water for my feet. She has washed my feet with her tears and dried them with her hair. You did not welcome me with a kiss. But since I came, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You provided no olive oil for my head. But she has anointed my feet with perfume. I tell you then, the great love she has shown proves that her many sins are forgiven. But whoever is forgiven little shows only a little love. Your sins are forgiven you. Your faith has saved you. Go in peace. I... sent us to ask if you are the one who is going to come or should we expect someone else go back and tell John what you have seen and heard the blind can see the lame can walk how happy are those who have no doubts about me onto my shoulder can you see now I can see Jesus A sower went out to sow his seed. And as he scattered the grain, some of it fell by the path and was trodden on. And the birds of the air devoured it. And some fell on rocky ground. And when the plants sprouted, they withered away because they had no moisture. And some seeds fell among thorns. And the thorns grew up with the plants and choked them. And some seeds fell in good soil. And the plants grew and bore grain, 100 grains each. Master, why do you speak in parables whenever a crowd is near? The knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of God have been given to you. But to others it comes by means of parables, so they may look but not see, and listen but not understand. This is what the parable means. The seed is the word of God. The seeds that fell along the path stand for those who hear. But the devil comes and takes the message away from their hearts in order to keep them from believing and being saved. The seeds that fell on rocky ground stand for those who hear the message and receive it gladly. But they have no root. They believe only for a while. And when the time of testing comes, they fall away. The seeds that fell among thorns stand for those who hear. But the worries and riches and pleasures of this life crowd in and choke them. And their fruit never ripens. And the seeds that fell in good soil Stand for those who hear the message and retain it in a good and obedient heart. And they persist until they bear fruit. One day, Jesus got into a boat with his disciples and said to them, 
Let us go across to the other side of the lake. And as they were sailing, he fell asleep. Where is your faith? And they sailed on over to Gadara, which is across the lake from Galilee. your name. Legion. Lord, we beg you, do not send us into the abyss. Let us enter into the herd of swine. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Come back! Stop! Stop! And the demons went out of the man and into the pigs. Follow you wherever you go. Let me come with you. Go back home and tell what God has done for you. Master, send the people away so that then they can go to the villages and farms around here and find food and lodging. This is a lonely place. You yourselves give them something to eat. But all we have are five loaves and two fish.
Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, King of the universe, who bringeth forth bread from the earth. Who do the crowd say I am? Some say that you are John the Baptist. Others say that you were Elijah. While others say that one of the prophets of long ago has come back to life. What about you? Who do you say I am? You are God's Messiah. You shall tell no man of this. The Son of Man must suffer much and be rejected. He will be put to death. But three days later will be raised to life. Will any of you come with me? I will follow you, Master. But first, let me go and say goodbye to my family. Anyone who starts to plough and then keeps looking back is of no use for the kingdom of God. If anyone wants to come with me, he must forget himself. Take up his cross every day and follow me. For whoever would save his own life will lose it. And whoever would lose his life for my sake will save it. What will it profit a man if he gain the whole earth and lose his own soul? If any man is ashamed of me and of my teachings, then the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in his glory, and the glory of the Father and the holy angels. Teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. When you pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Take no thought in your life for what you shall eat, nor for your body what you shall wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap, have neither storehouse nor barn, yet God feeds them. Of how much more worth are you than the birds? Good teacher, what must I do to receive eternal life? Why do you call me good? No one is good save God alone. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. 
Do not commit murder. Do not accuse anyone falsely. Respect your mother and your father. Ever since I was young, I have obeyed all these commandments. There is still one more thing you need to do. You must sell all you have and give the money to the poor, and you will have riches in heaven. Then come and follow me. But we are merchants. Wealthy. How hard it is for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. It is harder for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God than for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle. Who then can be saved? What is impossible for man is possible for God. It is easier for heaven and earth to disappear than for the smallest detail of the law to be done away with. For I tell you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see and did not see it. And to hear what you hear and did not hear it. What should we do? What do the scriptures say? How do you interpret them? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as you love yourself. You're right. Do this and you'll live. Uh, who is my neighbor? Not those soldiers. Yes. What, what about, about Caesar? Gentiles, there was once a man going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when robbers attacked him, stripped him, beat him, leaving him half dead. It so happened that a priest came that way. When he saw the man, he walked by on the other side. In the same way, a Levite also came there, went over and looked at the man, and then walked by on the other side. But a Samaritan who was traveling on that road came across the man. And when he saw him, his heart was filled with pity. He went over to the man, poured oil and wine on his wounds and bandaged them. Then he put him on his own animal and took him to an inn, where he took care of him. The next day he gave the innkeeper two silver coins, and he told him to look after the man. And when I come back, he said, I will pay you whatever else you spend on him. Which one of these three acted like a neighbor towards the man who was attacked by the robbers? The one who was kind to him. <laughs> you then do the same. <laughs> ah. Suffer the little children to come unto me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. Verily I say unto you, whosoever shall not receive the kingdom of God as a little child shall in no wise enter therein. Whoever welcomes this child in my name welcomes me. And whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For he who is least among you all is the greatest. to see again. Then see. Your faith has made you well. I can see. I can see. I can see. Oh, my God. 
collector. Hurry <laughs> 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 down, Zacchaeus. But I must stay in your house today. My house? I want to stay in his house. Yes, that's the last place I want to stay. Zacchaeus, no, Jesus. What rich friend? Rich. give half of my belongings to the poor. And if I have cheated anyone, I will pay him back four times as much. A tax collector paying back his taxes. Impossible! <laughs> Salvation has come to this house today. For this man also is a descendant of Abraham. The son of man came to seek and to save the lost. Listen. We are going to Jerusalem. Everything the prophets wrote about the Son of Man will come true. He will be handed over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and treat him shamefully and spit upon him. He will be whipped and killed. But on the third day, he will rise. And Jesus resolutely took the road for Jerusalem. disciples to be quiet. I tell you, if they were to be quiet, the stones themselves would begin shouting. understand that many have already hailed him as king. A king? 
A king of beggars, whores, and thieves. We've seen his like before. They come, they make their claims, they go. They're forgotten. Don't be blind. His following is growing by the day. The people admire him. And think he is a king. Let me give you a warning. If this man should threaten the peace further, I shall look to you. Perhaps he's right. It's time we confronted the Galilean. And as the hypocritical section of the scribes and the Pharisees came increasingly under his attack, so his following among the Jews grew. But so did the opposition from those he condemned. It's very little. Only a mite. Can't you give more? I tell you that this poor widow put in more than all the others. For the others offered their gifts from what they had to spare of their riches. But she, poor as she is, but in all the living that she had. Tell us, what right do you have to say these things? Who gave you such right? Now let me ask you a question. Tell me, did John's right to baptize come from God or from man? What shall we say? If we were to say from God, he will say why then? Don't you believe John? But if we say from man, this whole crowd here will stone us. They're all convinced that John was a prophet. We don't know where it came from. Neither will I tell you then by what right I do these things. Now the festival of unleavened bread drew near, which is called the Passover. Jesus sent Simon, Peter, and John ahead to prepare the Passover meal. so much to eat this Passover meal with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will never eat it until it is given its full meaning in the kingdom of God. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who bringeth forth fruit from the vine. Take this and share it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God comes. Blessed art thou, O Lord our God, King of the universe, who bringeth forth bread from the earth. This is my body which is given for you. This do in remembrance of me. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. But behold, the hand of him that betrayeth me is with me on the table. And truly the Son of Man must die as God has determined, but woe unto that man by whom he is betrayed. It can't be. 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 Not possible. Name the traitor, Lord. You have stayed with me all through my trials. 
And just as my father has given me the right to rule, so I will give you the same right. You will eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. And you will sit on thrones to rule over the twelve tribes of Israel. Then there is no traitor. Simon, Simon, behold. Satan has desired to test all of you. To separate the good from the bad as a farmer separates the wheat from the chaff. But I have prayed for you, Simon, that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned back to me, you must strengthen your brethren. Lord... I am ready to go to prison with you and to die I tell with you, Peter, you. The cock will not crow this day before that you shall thrice deny that you know me. And the council of the elders met to see how they might rid themselves of Jesus. Then entered Satan into Judas, surnamed Iscariot, who was one of the twelve. Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Father, if thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And an angel from heaven appeared to him to strengthen him. And his sweat was as though it were great drops of blood falling to the ground. Why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you do not fall into temptation. Is it with a kiss that you betray the Son of Man? Lord, shall we smite with the sword? Come on, arrest him. Enough of this. Come with swords and clubs as though I were an outlaw. I was with you every day in the temple and you did not try to arrest me. But this is your hour to act when the power of darkness rules. Arrest him.
Guard him well. This man, too, was with Jesus. Woman, I don't even know him. I saw them together. with Jesus because he's also a Galilean. Go away. <laughs> I don't know what, what you're talking about. with the greatness of thy power. Thou, who did forgive our fathers when they rebelled against thy word. Oh. 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 Who hit you, guess? Prophesy. Who will hit you next? <laughs> oh. Stop it. Stop it, I said. Bring him before the council. No! Messiah. If I tell you, you will not believe me. And if I ask you a question, you will not answer me. What? But from now on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right side of Almighty God. Are you then the Son of God? You say that I am. We ourselves have heard what he said. We will take him to Pilate. And they took him before Pontius Pilate, the most vicious of all Roman procurators alone responsible for the crucifixion of thousands. And what do you want here at this hour of the morning? We caught this man perverting our people. He caused an uproar in the temple market. What will be his punishment? Sentence him. I see no reason to condemn this man, no reason. We found him guilty, telling them not to pay taxes to the emperor, claiming himself the Messiah, a king. A king? Are you the king of the Jews? So you say. 
He began in Galilee and now he has come here. In Galilee? Is this man a Galilean? In that case, we'll let Herod deal with him. He's still here in Jerusalem, isn't he? Take him to Herod. <laughs> My lord, he has been corrupting all the people. He calls himself the king. This man? A king? <laughs> Your majesty. Mark him well. Send him back to Pilate. This is his province. This man has done nothing to deserve death. So I will have him scourged and let him go. You are obliged to release one man to us at this festival. Release to us Barabbas. Yes, Barabbas. 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 And away with this man. Barabbas. Yes. Give us more. You, you, scourge him. What's your name? Simon of Cyrene, sir. Step over here. Cut the ropes! <laughs> oh, you're showing pity, eh? You! Carry it! Come on, move! Clear the way there! 
Forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. He has saved others. Let him save himself. Save yourself if you were the king of the Jews. Messiah, save yourself. 
and and us. Don't you fear God? He received the same sentence you did, but he has done no wrong. Remember me, Jesus, when you, when you come as king. I promise you, today you will be in paradise with me. It was now about the sixth hour, and a darkness came over all the land until the ninth hour. the temple was torn right down the middle. Father. Into thy hands. I commit. My spirit. Joseph of Arimathea, a righteous member of the council who had not consented to this deed, obtained permission from Pontius Pilate to lay Jesus' body in a tomb before the Sabbath commenced at sundown. I would like to take his body. You can take it. Forgive us. We are following the body of our Lord. All are welcome. But come, the Sabbath is approaching. Very early on the Sunday morning, they came to the tomb, carrying the spices they had prepared. Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember what he said to you 
while he was in Galilee. The Son of Man will be handed over to sinful men, be crucified, and on the third day rise again. appeared to us, angels shining, like the sun, and said to us, why do you look for the living among the dead? It's true. Believe us. Believe us. We saw them. Go and see for yourselves. The tomb was empty. Our Lord was gone. Peter, you must believe us. He has appeared to Simon. What? We didn't recognize him. Not on the road. But when he broke bread, then we knew. At Emmaus, how strange he should go there. Peace be with you. Why are you troubled? Why are these doubts coming up in your minds? Look at my hands and my feet and see that it is I myself. Feel me and you will know. For a spirit has not flesh and bones, as you shall see I have. These are the very things I spoke to you about while I was still with you. That everything written about me in the law of Moses and the writings of the prophets and the Psalms had to come true. This is what is written. The Messiah must suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. And in his name, the message of repentance and of forgiveness of sins must be preached to all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And I myself bring the promise of my father upon you. But you must wait in the city until the power from above comes down upon you. bless you and keep you. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go, therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen.